one of the key uh, issues that we're going to have is is uh, a workforce that's capable and trained and can handle uh, all this growth. And that, that leads into my next question. I was going to ask you as we move. So just as, as you're going down that path, the biggest concern you have when you go through these they're incredibly high tech. I mean, unbelievably high tech. Of course, you need sorters, just people that are there helping with the boxes moving forward, but they really need people who have industrial maintenance, computers, skills, and, and what are you trying to do to retain talent? We're, we're just like that talent, at least in our area, but I think in the whole country, you hear that from everywhere you go in the country? Yeah, I mean, we have this issue. Uh, we're ne Next week I go back and we're having what we're calling the Nowhere Developer Conference because we're sort of in the middle of nowhere out in Arkansas, and we're attracting technology, hardcore sort of technology developers to the area. We're also uh, working with high school students. Uh, we've got interns, high school interns come into the office every week. We've got uh, meetups and conferences. So everything from high school students. And I think that's probably, the, probably it's, a, it's a challenge. I mean, you can't just invent more people. So the two areas that we see that are great opportunities is start younger. So anything that anybody could do to support getting high school students some real life experiences. These kids that are, 13 and 14 have unbelievable talent. I think we probably all see it in other areas uh, that I don't think I, my generation ever had. Um, and then uh, we've had uh, H-1B people that were rejected who you know, are master's degrees in computer science. They come to schools in the United States and we pay to train them. And then you know, we've got two, ones in China now and ones in Canada helping to create jobs for Chinese people and, Canadians and helping build venture capital there and new companies, things like that, I think, are huge. Um, but mostly, it's start with high school students, train them, give them real experiences, they're eager. So that's been great.